Yo, 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 shout out to the whole Angry Fan movement. What up, man? You good? I'm good, my love. I'm breathing. Yo, I just watched Three Letter Man's interview with uh, Easy the Block Captain. Dope interview. If y'all didn't watch it, go watch it on PSA Podcast. It came out yesterday, bro. Like, listen, I just want to chime in on a few things they were talking about. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, they got into the battle. Easy feels like he won the battle clearly over John John the first two rounds. I'm pretty sure John John feels like he won the first and the third clearly. You got to understand, this 25K... Easy said they still got it in the escrow. They still trying to have it judged. He said they couldn't find judges in the building. That's what it was. Nobody wanted to do it. He said Jay Black ain't want to do it. Vod ain't want to do it. It's 25K. Then he said plus the recording. People thought it was getting too nasty and whatnot. But here's my thing about it. Number one, John John didn't even rap about the recording. You know what I'm saying? Number one. Number two, y'all dropped the ball because you shouldn't have been looking for judges in the building. You should have already had that situated. And I'm saying that because y'all wouldn't be here now. Where John John is sitting here saying, I want my money, I want my money. And you're over here saying, nah, I'm not doing that. There's no way I lost that battle. Y'all got me with the Geechee battle. I feel like I won that one. I definitely didn't lose this one. So I don't know how y'all are either A, going to find judges. You're talking about uh, dropping a poll maybe after it drops on YouTube. But I don't see how that's going to work because all the polls got John John winning now for the most part, bro. And you looking at it like, yeah, but we know why the numbers is like that. And it's just like this, bro. I feel like what happened is this. You thought you was going to dog walk John John. You underestimated him. And that's just what it was. You know what I'm saying? It's way closer than you wanted to be to the point that people are definitely giving him the win. Now, you def it's a debatable battle. So you're going to have people that say you win. Obviously, you have a very strong fan base. That's the reason why I don't understand why you keep saying, yo, all you might be hating, everybody be hating. Like, bro, you get way more love than hate. Way more... Bro, I don't know how many, there's not that many battle rappers that have a loyal fan base like yours, bro. Real talk. So it's like you get hate, but you get a lot of love also. You know what I'm saying? And I don't feel like the hate played a part of the polls. I feel like John John came to kill. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I, and I heard you say the building had you winning 3-0 like easy. Easy. You was in Philly easy. And it was your league easy. They not supposed to say John John won. Especially a close to Babel battle. The only way they should be saying John John won is if you choked all three rounds, bro. And they had no choice but to say that. So that's going in one air and coming out the other. No reality. All that in the building crap. None of that really matters. Spe Come on, bro. That that's a home game. They you feeding them. You putting them on your car. Of course they're going to say you won. Let's be serious here. You know what I'm saying? But all in all, dope battle. I'm definitely glad you still tore the 25K. Still, uh... Y'all still trying to do that because I ain't going front. It was looking like y'all used that as a marketing employee just to get people to uh buy your event. And that would have been cool. That would have been cool. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad you cleared it up. I did see John John say, uh, I say John John wants his money. John John wants his money. You know what I'm saying? So I want to see how this is going to play out here, bro. I ain't even going to lie. As far as the hate goes, easy, I agree with you. Yes, you do have haters, but I do feel like some of the haters warranted. Some of it is, you know what I'm saying? You got to understand if you, the algorithm is going to keep the algorithm, algorithm, and you're going to have some hate. You get a bunch of love. You got to have some hate. You got to, you got to have haters in order to know you even doing good. Otherwise people wouldn't even care about you. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, I actually feel like your fan base is bigger than John John's, which means on a poll, I would have thought you would have won that. Not John John. You know what I'm saying? People be people be hating on John John too. If you want to keep it all the way real. They've been hating on him. So it's just like the hate I kind of feel like is warranted is, is equaled out. Now, as far as it being warranted, let's be serious. When you left URL, you know what I'm saying? You know the machine hated that. We all seen the battle rappers start coming at you. We seen some media come at you, but you know why? It's because we didn't know if you broke a contract or not. That's why. That's where the hate I feel like started from. Um, some people probably started hating on you because of the URL running the shine you was getting. You probably got some haters from seeing you on uh on the first Prince of Bel Air the movie. You probably got some haters because you was the, the face of Chrome right after you left URL. You probably got some haters because you dealing with Remy. Let's keep it a buck. You, know what I'm saying you you probably got haters because you're you're arrogant, you're cocky. You know what I'm saying let's not forget you was laughing at people when they left when they lost their caffeine deal. You thought you was. You know what I mean? You're always bombing on URL. Back. So it's not like people are just choosing to not like you. I feel like the people who don't like you, they have reasons for it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like they just woke up one day and said, hey, man, you know what? I don't like easy block, Captain. I don't think that's what it is. 
I don't think that's what it is. Respectfully, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Now, in my opinion, I think you're still a fire battle rapper. And these last two battles, I still don't feel like, I don't feel like you've fallen off, but I do feel like you need to stop playing it and, and go back in the overdrive like you was when you was on URL. I don't know if you got comfortable after the Hitman battle. I don't know if the money get into your head. out Because I, I seen you say you was rich after the event. I don't know. But you got to get keep that hunger. You better keep that hunger. Because if you get one more debatable battle or a or loss, bruh, you're, you're, you're going to see the difference. Trust me. You're going to see the difference. You know what I'm saying? But I, I definitely like the energy you brought to battle rap with the trenches. I'm not even going to hold you. You know what I'm saying? And as far as the whole Remy situation, I, I understand why you, you didn't keep it real. I know why you lied. Let's keep it real. It's your image. Battle rap, you acting, Lord knows you make music, who knows where you could go. So you didn't try to have nothing crazy. You, you like, you don't want to be known that you got into a like, situation happened with Pat Pulse and the whole Remy and they married. That's messy. That's messy. So I get it. I probably would have cracked the joke like, man, I don't know who hit me, man. Like, I thought the Honda from Street Fighter hit me. I, I just, just got hit. That's all I know. And, and kept it pushing. People would have talked about it for like three days. They wouldn't even care no more. You know what I'm saying? The reason why it was a big deal is because it dragged on for months and months and months. And you kept saying nothing ever happened. And then the recording came out. So, but I'm not really harping too much on the recording like that. Because I feel like you, I want to know who recorded. I think that's weird. And then the thing about it is you should know who you was talking to. Like you should know who recorded it. You know what I'm saying? So, and look at that. That's a hater. Whoever recorded is a hater. They talk to you on the phone and press record. So you got haters and you don't even know who they are. You know what I'm saying? You think, because you said to yourself, that's somebody I was cool with. How is it somebody you cool with, but they were calling you? So yes, you got haters, man. You got haters because you getting money now. You have to get used to that. You have got to get used to that. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about that. Um, But I don't think everybody hates you the way you be trying to drag it and make it seem. Like, nah, 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 nah. No, now nah. He started saying, oh, look, you know, Tay Rock's on my... Uh, you know what I'm saying And all these other haters be on my uh, Always talking about me Once again you the algorithm ball You the algorithm ball I be thinking y'all forget what this is This is battle rap Now I will say one thing here You know what I'm saying Easy I definitely seen a live with Easy Where he said listen If we not gonna battle Then there's no point in going back and forth I definitely seen him say that I definitely seen him say that You know what I'm saying Now he done took all the gloves off Talking about rock bro That nigga was like Man that nigga he done stop niggas from beating rock behind and all kind of things he said pull up where he gonna pull up where and it's just like yo i'm starting to think now let's hold off on this battle if there was the battle you know what i'm saying because the energy is kind of weird the energy is kind of weird right now you can tell like that this let me know how much easy really don't like rock and then he's sitting here saying like yo he was trying to be cool he wasn't dissing Rock. He was calling through Letterman. Through Letterman was confirming it. You know what I'm saying? He said he was telling through, like, I'm not going to diss him because I called him my brother. I remember him saying that. I actually remember him saying, he's, you know what? He's actually right. He used to be on Twitter saying he's not going to go back and forth with Rock and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Man, easy. you know what it is, Easy? You not used to this fame coming this quick. I think that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I think you were, and then, then you under a whole lot of pressure too. Let's be serious, B. The Tasha K blog, you going viral, people clowning you, people using your old pictures, all kind of things. Like you probably waking up like, man, as soon as you wake up, you hit an L. Like, oh man, what's today going to bring? You know what I'm saying? You, you getting money, you doing your thing, but you know, the internet is killing you. I feel like in a sense, it's probably, you know, you're not used to it. You used to just winning battles and people saying, yo, I, I rock with easy. I like easy. Now people are saying you do, do drug bars too much. Now they're saying you're losing battles. You're losing battles. They're saying you're debatable. They're saying you're falling off. So I get it. The stress is kind of getting to you. But all in all, I'm going to say is this, man. You got to be able to brush everything off. You think you going through something? You think you going through something? Bro, Tay Rock, they said Tay Rock been messing with a transmission for six, seven years now. He ain't, he ain't going crazy. Everybody be told, oh, Mook, oh, 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 Mav slapped you upside your head with the, with the issue and you did a podcast with him. He ain't worried about that. They always be talking about Shotgun, Shug, and Arsenal, and Trick Trick. They, not, they battled through it. They battled through it. It just is what it is.
You know what I'm saying? You're not exempt from that, I feel like, man. It's battle rap. It's battle rap. Now, now I get it. You don't like to hear it. <laughs> you don't like to hear it, but it's a part of battle. Come on, they said Rex was a nurse. I remember they was clowning Rex for the situation with Head Ice. When Head Ice, man, that hit Rex. Bro, things happen in battle rap, bro. Everybody's still human. You're still human. It's about battling through it. You know what I'm saying? As long as you can battle through it, you're good. But other than that, this, this keep going hard body with your battles, man. Stop saying people is compromised. Stop thinking people are hating on you and they want you to lose. Stop doing all of that. We can, like, this battle, you said this is, this is the clearest battle you think you got. Like, your next battle gotta be better. Cause you, on, on URL, you used to look, that chess, you need to go watch you and chess again. That was a hungry easy. I think we kind of getting a, a, a somewhat fed easy now where it's just like, all right, this is cool. It's dope, but they, this ain't that starving material you have for chess. This ain't that starving, you know what I'm saying? You got to get back into that dojo, I feel like, and like start smoking people because you got to understand you don't have the machine behind you. Not saying you need them. Clearly, you got Remy behind you. Clearly, you're doing your thing with trenches, but you still want to maintain that status, period. You know what I'm saying? And I, I would have loved to watch you on rock, but... Something tells me this, this ain't the time for that right now. Especially after hearing all that, you, man, listen. You said everything so far, I want to beat them up. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I can tell the energy is, is like on a whole nother level right there. But let me know what y'all think. Go check the interview out. Dope interview, dope interview. You know what I'm saying? AFM, I'm out. Now, Black Compass had an interview with Tay Rock and Henny last night. I'm about to watch that now and get my thoughts on that. I'm out. One.